All right, Fox 26, your Gulf Coast Weather Authority. That's right, Ramesha Shays tracking yes. the weather, especially I know it's really crucial to know what's going to happen on Monday. <laughs> yes, it is crucial, but you know, we had a lot of sunshine today, mm -hmm. very few clouds for the afternoon. That would have been nice for Monday, but right. you know, Mother Nature doesn't cooperate all the time. Yes. Yeah. We may have a few issues coming up on Monday, but <laughs> hopefully things will change before we get there. But at least things are quiet tonight, and we will have a nice stretch of quiet weather for the next couple of days. But it hasn't been that way across other parts of the country. We've already had eight reports of tornadoes today up across parts of Illinois, also Tennessee, Kentucky, and Ohio. You can see some of those tornado reports there. And these strong, possibly severe storms are racing towards the Atlanta area right now. So all of that action stays off to our east and northeast. You can see the big threat for severe weather over towards Atlanta and gradually pushing into the Charlotte area. So if you do have flights in either of those locations tonight or early in the morning, you may run into some issues. But if you're hanging out here, things are nice and quiet. Mostly clear out there. We had a cold front push through this afternoon. So the temperatures are pleasant right now in the upper 60s, but they will be falling. You can see a lot of wind as well out there blowing in out of the northwest behind that front. Here's weather where you live. If you're going to be out and about tonight in Galveston, 71 right now, and it is breezy. Northwest wind around 24 miles per hour. Tomball, a little cooler for you. Mainly clear, 64. Sugar Land right in the middle, 60s. No rain or storms to worry about tonight as that drier air builds in behind that front. Here's what we will have to worry about, though. It's windy out there. We've got gusts right around 32 miles per hour for the Houston area, so it stays windy tonight. A little breezy at times tomorrow, but high pressure gradually builds in behind the system and all of the storminess will stay well to our east. So there's the area of high pressure that will keep us nice and bright and dry for the next three days or so before the pattern starts to flip on us once again for the weekend. But all across Harris County for tonight, it's going to be a little on the cool side, especially for April 50 tonight in Houston, low 50s for eastern Harris County over towards Pasadena, Laporte and Clear Lake and middle 40s. Definitely jacket weather early in the morning back west towards Cypress and Katy. How about the next three days? Well, we are looking pretty close to perfect for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 76 with a lot of sun tomorrow. 81 for Thursday afternoon with a lot of sunshine and perfect golf, beach, and park weather for Friday as well as those temperatures climb to the low 80s by the afternoon. So we've got four days in a row where you can get outside, take advantage of that nice weather and enjoy. But look what happens just as we get into the second half of the weekend. Rain chances jump all the way up to 60% and that rain and that thick cloud cover likely hanging out and lingering for Monday. Of course, we've been talking about this humongous event, this total solar eclipse happening on Monday during the early afternoon, and we really wanted to see it, right? But it looks like things may not work out in our favor, unfortunately, with Mother Nature bringing in this next storm system, a lot of thick clouds locally and really across much of the state, and even a chance for some showers on Monday. So here is the path of totality where that moon will fully block out the sun. That's going to be to our west over towards the San Antonio area, also Waco, Dallas, parts of Austin. But here we will be able to have a partial eclipse if we can get the clouds to break up. About 94.2% coverage beginning at 1220, greatest coverage at 1.40 p.m. and ending at 3.01 p.m. on Monday. Of course, if we miss out, you can check us out on our smart TV app, Fox Local. We will have coverage from Mexico to Maine on there, and we'll have meteorologists, reporters stationed all across that path of totality. So so we may miss out locally, but guess what? You don't miss anything when you have Fox Local downloaded on your smart TV. Come on, Ramisha. Okay. Look at that. I've got I'm ready to go download it again. Right. I already yeah. have it on my TV. You want to undownload it or re download it again? And just, Come on, undo the just, Fox Local. He's going to delete the app. Delete the app. Undownload. <laughs> undownload. <laughs> you don't undownload anything, you just delete. Anyway, well, Caroline, what's coming up on the news at 10? <laughs>